Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of May. Now, keep in mind, this could happen at any time in May. We are just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Gemini for May? Can you give me one card, please? One card for Gemini. Ooh. Ooh. Spiritual awakening. So you're going through some sort of spiritual awakening during this time. You could also be dealing with somebody who's going through a spiritual awakening. Ooh. I got to show you what's on the bottom. Deep spiritual connection. So we have a deep spiritual connection here as well, Gemini. What else do we have for Gemini? These cards are so big. What do we have for Gemini? Oh. Well, we got two of them, which makes sense considering you are the twins, right? Nine of Swords says Nine of Blades and the Three of Coins. So this is togetherness. It's working together. It's teamwork. It's uh, cooperating, working very well with somebody. There's some sort of stress here, worry. Oh my God, feels like uh, we have some exhaustion here you may be exhausted you may be really worried about something anxious there's some sort of regrets by the looks of things or or maybe it's just it's a oh my god situation it's like i can't believe this has happened could be disbelief um it looks like it is 10 10 so i'm not sure if that's a date or a, or a time october 10th or uh right around that time uh, that could be a time like on a clock 10 10 uh, there's some sort of medication here there could be some self-medicating that is going on I'm not sure you know what I just heard I'm not sure if, if there's an overdose I mean I hopefully that's not the case um, but when I was just looking at that that's that is what I saw um, this is, oh my God, I can't believe this has happened. Um, there is definitely some stress here. But there is also teamwork, working together, uh, cooperating. Um, Let's see what we get. Why don't we just go like that? So we have room for everything. What do we have for Gemini? You know, it feels like there's some sort of despair. Obviously, there's some sort of despair. crying, sadness. Why has this happened? Everything happens for a reason. Sometimes it's our darkest moments that put us into a place of spiritual awakening. Seek. Let's get that to zoom in. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one, each other, one another. I'm not, you know, I wonder what's going on here. It feels like, um, I don't know if you've experienced a loss or you are experiencing a loss. Because, but there's always going to be a connection. There is a connection here. There is a, a deep spiritual connection. 
And it's interesting because I, I, I looked at the bottom and for this deck, for the other people, I'm not sure that I have. We definitely have a deep spiritual connection here, okay? So you're always going to be connected to somebody. You are. And I think there's grieving over the loss of this connection, whatever it is. But the Three of Coins is about working together. It's cooperating. It is... Uh, Working as a team, there's some sort of teamwork here. Appreciation, maybe? Something about appreciation with that Three of Coins? What do we have for Gemini? I think you're going to be dealing with a stressful situation, honestly. I mean, i got to be honest. Ooh, Queen of Swords reversed. Two of Swords, painful, stressful decision. Oh, and Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands is a reckless individual, somebody that acts recklessly, that does something without thinking. Uh, making a decision in denial, avoiding avoiding the truth. Somebody has been avoiding the truth. This is not logical. Bitter, angry, upset. I'm just being honest. And, you know, there's a lack of honesty here. And I want to be honest with myself. There's a need to be honest. There's a need to... Uh, look at things from a new perspective, but we have somebody here that I feel like they're suffering and not in a positive mindset. There's a need to change that mindset. I mean, the Queen of Swords, this is the past, though. Okay, we're working from past, present to future. In the in the past, there's there's it could be some sort of bitterness or serious regrets or... Uh, I feel like there's some bad news that is coming or it has already arrived. Very sharp-tongued. Uh, I feel like there could be some punishment or some sort of unforgiving news that is coming. This is very unforgiving energy. This is uh, held back. Held back by fear unable, trying to avoid something. Somebody is trying to avoid the truth. This is not accepting the truth. Not, this is lack of clarity. Somebody is not, this is going to be hard to accept. I feel like something is, is happening that is hard to believe. It could be disbelief. Knight of Wands reversed in the future is reckless behavior, moving too fast, out of control. We definitely have a troublemaker here as well. This is blocked. But what is this Three of Pentacles? That's the, that's like very capable. We have somebody here that is capable of working as a team, but they're blocking themselves mentally. There's some sort of mental issue here where it is. This is, this is mental, this is mental, this is mental. Somebody is refusing to open up and work together with others. They're refusing to. And it's because of, it could be fear, it could be paranoia, it could be uh, bitterness. You know, somebody is needing to uh, work together and open up, but they're not. They're protecting themselves. Queen of Swords reversed is... is uh, I don't know if there's somebody here that is hypercritical or overly critical or maybe even self-critical. We may even have some unlawful behavior here. Somebody that is doing something that is against the law. 
definitely moving way too fast. I feel like we have somebody here that is, is selfish and they're doing something without thinking and, I, and they could hurt another person. It's like they're doing something together and they're not seeing. Ah, there's definitely dishonesty here. There's dishonesty. There's a, there's a lack of acceptance and there's a lack of clarity. Not waking up. Refusing to wake up. So there's, there's something about not waking up here. Um, we have somebody doing something reckless. I don't know. Maybe they aren't going to wake up. I mean, I hate to say that. Um, Ace of Swords reverse is dishonesty, it's lack of truth, it's a lack of power, it's a loss of power. Um, avoiding the truth, Some this is going to be hard to deal with. This is a painful, stressful decision. Somebody is making, and they're struggling, definitely struggling. This is definitely despair. Over, I feel like there's some bad news, unfortunately. I mean, I feel like there's some bad news that is coming about somebody that you are spiritually connected to. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could also be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ah, it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Bad news. There is, that is bad news. Um, there is some bad news that is arriving. And I feel like there has, this is going to be hard to accept, whatever it is. Uh, Page of Wands reversed is, uh, we have somebody here that is mean-spirited. They are immature. They see themselves as a victim. They... Uh, don't follow through with their plans. This is somebody that is unreliable, that makes excuses, that is doing something uh, without thinking. And I feel like I feel like there's going this this two of swords is 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 uh, blocked of some sort, blocked emotions, uh, divided loyalty. Uh, inability to see the truth somebody is unable to see the truth they're unable to accept the truth this is this something is going to happen that oh god i shouldn't have looked some i looked on the bottom of the deck something is going to happen that uh changes your life unfortunately this is a major disruption. This is the universe forcing a change. I was going to say force and I, I didn't want to say it. So this is a shock. This is a dismantling of a false sense of security. This is something crumbling. Uh, a foundation that is falling apart that isn't stable. This is a necessary evil. This is when the universe comes in to force somebody to see the light, to see the truth that they have been avoiding. So there's been some sort of avoidance. Something is going to be shown that forces a change, okay? Um, this is a major life change. It could be an accident. This is a necessary evil. There could be an internal disruption. There could be an explosion. This is uh, a major disturbance that is life-changing. I do believe that you are going to be experiencing a major life change this week. I feel like it's going to be, unfortunately, it's going to be stressful. I do think it's going to be stressful. I feel like you're going to receive some news that, you know, you don't want to hear. You could be dealing with somebody that, as well, that is getting the news and you are just hearing about it. Um, there is an individual here that is not going in the right direction. They are acting recklessly. This person is probably a show-off, very, very obnoxious, maybe loud, um, untruthful, dishonest, that is about to get a wake-up call, okay? They are about to get a wake-up call, and I feel like... Um,
They could, they could even be a roadblock here. It feels like there could be a roadblock. Light is about to be shed on a false sense of security and things are going to happen fast. This is a very sudden change. It comes out of nowhere. This is a rude awakening. So I do believe you are going to be experiencing an event that shakes up your foundation and forces a change. And this, this could be an internal disruption within yourself. It could have to do with your home or it could have to do with your relationship. Somebody has been in denial. They have. They have been in denial. It's very clear. But somebody has been in denial that this has needed to be dealt with. It has needed to be. But there's there's been a there's been procrastinating. There's been not taking any action. There's been uh, avoiding, you know, I'm just going to avoid it and keep working and pretend that everything's okay. Everything is not okay. reversed four of pentacles and nine of cups so wish fulfillment happiness abundance that that's what's below so we have somebody here that has went overboard i feel like they went overboard i do this is what's below you okay this is somebody that has had it all at one time i feel like they're they're losing something Okay, this is letting go, it is uh, opening up, it's um, not holding on anymore. Somebody is letting go of something that they were holding on to. Um, they've been avoiding departure because the Eight of Cups reverse is, is pretending to be happy, pretending that everything is okay, staying put, avoiding again. Avoiding leaving a disappointing situation, not taking any action. That's why the universe is here. The universe is forcing somebody to take action, to start with a clean slate, to start over. I do believe there's going to be a major disruption this, this month. I feel like it has to do with... Um, I don't know, maybe it has to do with somebody that you've blocked from your life. Maybe you've blocked this person already. This person uh, may be unreliable. I feel like they're unreliable. They don't stick around. They may have left when the going gets rough. They may have said some mean things. There could be somebody that is coming back around, you know, because the Eight of Cups reverse could be somebody that is coming back around. They're opening up to you. They are communicating with you. They want to work with you. You know, you have a deep spiritual connection with this person and you're in a state of despair because you don't know what to do. This person may have done something on the fly without thinking and maybe they want forgiveness. I feel like there's been a lack of, of real, honest, truthful communication from this person. I feel like, I feel like this person um, doesn't think all the time. You know, they don't think before they act. And I feel like this, I feel like who, I think it's somebody that you are, that you have dealt with that has gone through a spiritual awakening. I do. I think it's somebody that you have dealt with that is opening up to you um, after they have been, maybe they've been through a tower moment and now they're causing you to have a tower moment. You know, I do feel like you are going to be put in a, in a painful, stressful position you know, where you have to make a painful, stressful decision as to whether you want to open up to this person or not. And and this could be somebody new. I be it could be somebody old, could be somebody new. I do believe that you have a deep soulmate connection with somebody and you're gonna be focusing on that this month. I feel like there's there's communication, there's appreciation, there's teamwork, there's working together with somebody, but you may be blocking your emotions. You may be blocking yourself or protecting yourself from letting this person in, whether this is somebody from your past or somebody new. 
I feel like you're going to be in a state of despair trying to decide what you want to do. That The overall right now card is this two of swords. So that is a painful, stressful decision. Do you open up? Do you protect yourself? Do you uh, open your heart? Do you unblock your emotions? Do you uh, take the blindfold off and allow somebody in? That's the question here. But I feel like there's a lot of pessimism here. I think that you're very pessimistic about it. You may be bitter. You may be, you know, closed off emotionally, afraid to open your heart. I feel like, I feel like you have somebody here that um, could bring you wish fulfillment if you can uh, open up to them and let them in but I feel like there's 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 too much worry there's worry about deception there's worry about there's distrust I don't trust I don't I don't trust you I don't trust anybody that kind of thing um, avoiding avoiding confrontation avoiding getting hurt protection I feel like you're really 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 protecting yourself I feel like you're trying to protect yourself Maybe you're shutting down communication with somebody that is uh, suited for you because of some bitterness, you know, of the past. Maybe you need to slow down. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who wants to move fast with that Knight of Wands reversed and you just... I uh, want to put up a barricade. I feel like there's some sort of barricade here. I feel like you you really need to uh, what's the word for it? Let your emotions show your emotions, open up your heart. With that eight of cups reversed, it's like staying put, avoiding uh emotional weakness, you know. I feel like you're you're afraid to get involved in case somebody leaves, you know. That's the biggest fear here. The two of swords is held back by fear. I feel like there's a withdrawn communication or there's a lack of communication. There's a lack of opening up when you need to open up. You may even, some of you could be dealing, this is another, for somebody else completely. I feel like we have somebody here that left. They left without thinking and you know they moved really fast into something they could be apologizing to you this is somebody that you do have a deep soulmate connection with you could be receiving an apology if you haven't received one already You you may you may have this attitude where I don't forgive you or you were dealing with somebody that's unforgiving because I see an unforgiving energy here. There's there's somebody here that is wanting forgiveness, and you may have to, or maybe you need to just give them a chance. There's an opportunity to work with somebody that you do have a soulmate connection with. And this connection is not just going to go away. So you might as well embrace it and open up to it. I feel like something failed to launch in the past. But now it's coming back around to be dealt with. And that's going to be the event that happens. There's an opportunity to start with a clean slate should you choose to open your eyes and open your heart and uh, communicate. It's time to let go of the regrets, let go of the past, move on. Ace of Cups reverse. That's a lack of emotional content, tears, sadness. 
um, shutting down emotionally. I feel like you are uh, going to, I don't know if you're going to be shedding some tears. This is letting go and this is tears. And this is very sudden. So I'm not sure what is going on, but I feel like there's, well, there could be somebody that is crying for you. They, they wish, they wish that they had opened up to you. That's what this is. They wish that they could come back and maybe they think that you or they know that you are unforgiving of them. And they probably, you know, don't have the courage or the confidence or the strength to be honest about their feelings. It's blocked. The two of swords is blocked feelings. It's blocked emotions. Anyhow, I do believe that um, something is happening this month that is very emotional and it probably forces you to face whatever the truth is to face this reality because when the tower happens it's a rude awakening of some sort and you could be giving somebody a rude awakening they could be giving you a rude awakening that is a universal forced change there is going to be a major change and there's going to be Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye as well, or they could be coming back around after they left. I mean, we could go all day. There could be a sudden departure here with the Knight of Wands reversed. That is sad. Somebody could be leaving suddenly. They've been pretending they're happy, you know, and they've been dishonest. They've been blocking their emotions, and they just, I don't know, they could flip out with that tower there could be a fight there could be an explosion something could explode you know somebody could just you can only block your emotions for so long before things erupt okay so i do believe there's going to be a major disruption in your life that changes everything and it's going to cause uh, you some sort of stress this is going to cause disbelief so be prepared for something to happen that puts you in a state of disbelief this does have to do with a soulmate of yours. Good luck.